Welcome to the to the new night. We certainly appreciate the hospitality here uh, at Trade Tech. We are a city of love and inclusion, a city of second chances. It should be mandatory. Second chances should be mandatory. More than anywhere in maybe this world, we are a city that has never judged you on your past. A felon like myself is like the only uh, the only group of people that are uh, legally discriminated against. So in this city of second chances, we need it more urgently than ever. Because this is the era of criminal justice reform, finally. We're not locking people away for two decades because they had one gram of something too much. But if we don't have a social safety net to catch people as they're coming back to our communities, that reform will fail. So it's up to us to make sure they're greeted with a job and a program and a system to get their lives back on track. I think that's the biggest uh, hurdle that we have to deal with is the stigmatism that goes along with being a felon. We know that the recidivism rate in California is just too staggeringly high, 65%. But when the formerly incarcerated are paired with jobs, it drops to as low as 3%. I think uh, recidivism is very high because there's not enough programs and opportunities for those that once they become released uh, from incarceration, that they have opportunities to have uh, job training, uh, resume training, and opportunities to be interviewed by employers. You know, if you served your time, if you, if you paid your debt, uh, you know, you shouldn't be penalized for trying to find a job. Basically, convinced by past, I was kind of worried about being a, you know, a felon that it's, it's a little hard. People kind of discriminate, but I'm finding that it's really, if I put my foot out there and just kind of sell myself, that it is possible. And I found out today that it actually really is, so. So congratulations, I'm going to go ahead and sign your offer letter here. I'm excited. <laughs> really excited. I haven't worked in a while. Um, I guess I was formerly incarcerated, so this is like a really big step for me to move on with my life. And I'm, I, I, I couldn't be any more thrilled than I am right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you think about someone who's just served their time, trying to get back on their feet, coming out, being able to sign up for something like Uber, you know, that's going to give someone hope. Hope that they can, you know, pay their bills, hope that they can pay the rent, hope that that can lead to something bigger and better. And that's actually my passion um, in helping people get back into their daily routine, giving them and instilling hope that there is, uh, there are employers out there to give you that second chance and um, establish yourself again with new skill sets. Over the last few years, we've looked at really growing our reentry program to make sure that um, we're in line with what's going on in the city in terms of the initiatives built around giving people second chances. So with our reentry program, we um, partner with various organizations throughout Greater Los Angeles. One of our um, biggest partners being Homeboy Industries, um, who has a solar panel um, training program. Um, where they send their students over to East Los Angeles Skills Center. I would say we are the largest, or if not one of the largest, reentry programs in the nation. Um, we specialize on helping individuals that have been incarcerated, gang members, offenders that are having a hard time acclimating back into society. We help them with mental health services, life skills services. We have an intensive case management program. And then, of course, we do workforce development. The research shows that people who have past criminal justice involvement are often the most dedicated, hardest working employees on the job because they're so appreciative of the opportunity to work. And so we have that conversation with employers and we also talk with them about some of the narrative that is not true about people and help them to understand that everyone deserves an opportunity to work. We also created a Fair Chance Hiring Toolkit which talks to employers about the law, talks to them about fair best practices, talks to them about what they need to do to ensure that they're following the law and giving people the best opportunity to be their best selves.